Francia Biggio, whose birth name may have been Francesco di Cristofano, was an Italian painter born in Florence in 1482. He lived a relatively short life and passed away in 1525. Francia Biggio was a notable painter during the Florentine Renaissance, and his artworks were associated with the art movement known as Mannerism. During this period, his paintings were characterized by their stark contrasts of light and dark, as well as their use of distorted forms and exaggerated poses. Francia Biggio was also known for his use of vibrant colors and his ability to create dynamic compositions. One of Francia Biggio's most famous artworks is the painting, The Adoration of the Christ Child, which is a beautiful depiction of the Virgin Mary holding the infant Jesus. This painting exemplifies the artist's use of bold colors and dramatic lighting. Francia Biggio was also renowned for his skill in portraiture, and his portraits of important figures from his time are still admired by art historians today. Born in Florence, Italy, Francia Biggio was a painter who initially worked under Albertinelli until about 1506. In 1505, he befriended Andrea del Sarto, and the two painters set up shop together in the Piazza del Grano by the next year. Francia Biggio was noted for his diligence and was proficient in fresco, with Vasari claiming that he surpassed all his contemporaries in this method. He paid attention to anatomy, perspective, and proportions, though his figures were often squat in form. Although he was initially noted for diligence, as years went on and he received frequent commissions for public paintings for various festive occasions, his diligence seemed to wane. His portraits, not his religious paintings or frescoes, were where his painting gathered naturalistic power. In 1513, in the cloister of the Annunziata, Francia Biggio frescoed the marriage of the Virgin, which was part of a larger series mainly directed by Andrea del Sarto, although it was overshadowed by the latter's masterpiece of Birth of the Virgin. Other artists working under Sarto at the cloister included Rosso Fiorentino, Pontormo, Francesco Indeco, and Baccio Bandinelli. In 1514, he frescoed a Mantegnesque Last Supper for the Convento della Calza in Florence. In 1518-19, he executed the departure of John the Baptist for the desert and the meeting of the Baptist with Jesus at the Convento della Salzo. In 1520-21, at the Villa Medici at Poggio a Caiano, he frescoed a turgid triumph of Cicero on the walls of the Salon which was overshadowed by Petormo's naturalistic lunette of Vertumnus and Pomona. He painted a St. Job altarpiece as well. Francia Biggio maintained his studio with Andrea for a number of years. Together with Andrea's student, Jacopo de Pontormo, they decorated the Medici villa at Poggio a Caiano, where Francia Biggio's triumph of Caesar displays his talent for narrative painting. Andrea's influence on Francia Biggio may be seen in the dark, smoky background and the soft, dramatic lighting of the St. Job altar. Later, he painted the Madonna and Christ Child, a composition that highlights Raphael Sanzio's influence. Various works that have been ascribed to Raphael are now considered to be by Francia Biggio, including the Madonna del Pozo, with its awkwardly muscular John the Baptist, and some of his portraits, such as the half-figure of a young man, which bear this painter's monogram. Two other works of his, of some celebrity, are the Calumny of Apelles and the Bath of Bathsheba. In conclusion, Francia Biggio was a talented Italian painter associated with the Florentine Renaissance and the Mannerist art movement. His artworks were characterized by bold colors, dramatic lighting, and dynamic compositions. Francia Biggio excelled in portraiture and gained recognition for his attention to anatomy and perspective. While his figures sometimes appeared squat, his naturalistic power shone through in his portraits. Collaborating with Andrea del Sarto, he contributed to the frescoes in various locations, showcasing his narrative painting skills. Despite his relatively short life, Francia Biggio left behind a body of work that continues to be admired by art historians today.